Do you actually need a pool closing kit? These kits come with things like algicide, enzymes, scale and stain prevention, non-chlorine shock, and supplies like air pillows or time release floaters. But before you buy a winterizing kit, here's a breakdown of which chemicals you actually need to close your pool and which products you don't. Let's dive in. Real quick, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear all season long. First, whether or not you decide to buy a pool closing kit, you'll need to do a few things to prepare your pool before adding any winterizing chemicals. And keep in mind that you might need to drain some of your water depending on how you plan to winterize your plumbing or what kind of cover you have. So give yourself a week to complete all of your pool closing tasks, especially if you plan to use chlorine shock. One, skim, brush, and vacuum your pool. Anything you leave floating in your water or clinging to your walls will just get worse over the winter. So give your pool one last clean before closing it up. Two, test and balance your water. The goal is to get your water as balanced and healthy as possible before closing. So test your water and adjust your levels as you normally would. Pay extra attention to pH, alkalinity, and calcium hardness. Your pH and alkalinity levels will help your other chemicals do their job over the winter. And imbalanced calcium hardness levels can damage your pool's surfaces or equipment. Three, shock your pool with chlorine one last time. This will kill any lingering contaminants, especially algae, in your water. To speed things up, use a fast dissolving chlorine shock like dichlor shock or liquid chlorine to shock your water. You can use Cal Hypo Shock, but you'll need to wait at least eight hours to let it circulate and dissolve. Wait until your chlorine levels have dropped back down to add more chemicals. Okay, now that you've prepped your pool, it's time to talk about winterizing chemicals. Here's what's in a typical pool closing kit, and here's which of the chemicals you actually need. One, winter algicide. Adding an algicide before covering your pool is a great way to prevent green water in the spring. This is especially important if temperatures reach 60 degrees Fahrenheit while you still have your cover on. While most kits market their algicide as a winter formula, you might already have the right kind of algicide on hand. Look for a 60% polyquat algicide. This is non-copper based with a powerful enough concentration to kill algae in the off season. It's more expensive than copper based algicide, but it won't stain and it won't foam. Two, a slow release winter ball or winter pill. This ball will slowly release a blend of enzymes, clarifier, and stain and scale prevention into your water during the off season. It won't affect the rest of your water chemistry, and it's a convenient, easy to use alternative to buying each of those products separately. So if your water has high metal content, or if you struggle with stains, scaling, or scum lines in the spring, this product can help. But if you don't have those issues, this is just extra insurance. Three, stain and scale preventer. In addition to an all-in-one winter pill, many pool closing kits come with a separate stain and scale preventer. But the best stain protection for your pool? A solid winter pool cover that keeps debris out of your water. And if you completely clean your pool before closing, you shouldn't need additional stain and scale prevention. Four, chlorine-free shock, AKA oxidizer. Many kits come with an oxidizer to add to your water when closing. It doesn't need circulating and it won't damage your liner or surfaces. But if you've shocked your water with the prep we mentioned before, then you don't need to shock your pool again. Check to make sure your free chlorine and total chlorine levels are in range. If they are, then you don't need to add an oxidizer. Five, phosphate removers. Phosphate removers are marketed as a way to starve algae by removing its food source. But you don't need this if you've cleaned your pool, you have a good winter cover, and you've added an algicide. Six, time release floaters or absorbing sponges. These products are found in some pool closing kits to provide ongoing protection throughout the winter. But again, if you've already cleaned your pool, balanced your water, and added algicide, a floater or an oil absorbing sponge isn't needed. So are winter kits worth it? If you want extra protection and don't wanna to have to go out and buy individual chemicals, a winter kit is a convenient purchase. Otherwise, you really just need 60% polyquat algicide and a winter pill as an optional layer of protection. Regardless, make sure that your pool is clean and you use a good winter cover to prevent debris from getting into your pool. 
And if you need more help closing your pool yourself, be sure to check out our other videos. And grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. Thanks again, and happy swimming.